Hi guys, in this video I'm going to go through the first criterion which is presentation and see how we can get 4 out of 4 for this criterion. So to get 4 it says the exploration is coherent, well organized, concise. Now I'm going to explain what those three words are as I go through these bullet points. But look, I think at the very minimum you should be getting 3 out of 4 in this criterion. The exploration is coherent and well organized. I mean if it isn't, so like two is some coherence and some organization, that means it's not coherent and it's not well organized. So this two out of four is just not a good IA, whereas three is good and then four is kind of what we're aiming for. The hard one to kind of get is the concise, is it concise? And that means, well, one of the bullet points here I have is every page is important. So it's 12 to 20 pages. But you can have a 20 page concise IA and you can have a 12 page, um, well, 12 pages of waffle that's not concise at all or it's just full of um, full of tables of data, things that things that are, make the IA not concise. So just bear that in mind. OK, let me go through these these points. Firstly, the front page has a title and number of pages. So these are the things that we have told us to do this, this these first two. It's 12 to 20 pages. As a guide, again, it can be 11 or 10 or 21 or 22, provided it fits all the, the necessary requirements of the, of the criteria. Uh, but 12 to 20 pages, double line spacing, excluding the bibliography. So that's 12 to 20 pages, excluding the bibliography, fine. It has a bibliography. If you have cited anywhere, ensure you include that in the bibliography page numbering so just number the pages now it must you must have an introduction so your first page is introduction and in the introduction this is very important you have these three things an aim a rationale and a plan right your aim is what do you aim to do now that should be a focused aim it should be like what is the probability of me winning the Olympic Games, the hundred meter, winning the hundred meter sprint in the Olympic Games in four years. That's a, that's an aim. Uh, that's a good focused aim because there's a there's obviously an answer to it. Um, an unfocused aim would be investigating the patterns found in trees. Right? Not not a good aim. So get yourself a good aim. A rationale is why are you doing, why are you doing the IA? Why why did you choose that aim? Why did you choose that topic? Don't just put, um, I chose I chose this IA because I like football. I mean that's not really good enough. It's something like, I chose to to model my free kick because. I take the free kicks of my football team and I'm not good enough and I want to get better. That's a good rationale. And then a plan is, how are you going to do it? So what are you going to do? You're going to you're going to go to the football pitch, take a video, record you taking a free kick, um, find a model, do some calculus, compare it to Messi's free kick, whatever, right? That's a plan. Then at the end, you have a conclusion, which refers back to the aim. Right. So you need an introduction and a conclusion. You absolutely have to have those two parts. The rest of it, you can kind of, well, you can organize it however you however you want, but it should it should flow from one section to the next. And that's this bullet point that I'll get to in a second. So your conclusion refers back to the aim. Did you did you find out what you wanted to find out or not? Um, did you improve your free kick? Did you did you find your patterns in trees? Uh, talk about it. Easy to follow for a student in your class, right? So I've said in your class, as in that could be a standard level student or a high level student, depending on what you're doing. But remember, you are writing for your peers. You're not writing for uh, your teacher, although you kind of are in a way. But a student should be able to read it and follow it, and your teacher should definitely be able to read it and follow it. There's no marks for using really fancy language. Just use basic language. I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do this. Here is my table, here is my graph. Now I'm going to calculate this. I didn't like how it, how this looks, blah, blah, blah. Just 
straightforward, clear, very clear sentences of what you're doing. It flows from one section to the next. I'll show you an example, a good example that does that. But yeah, it's going to be first. Firstly, I'm going to. So you say, mo make creating my model. Then you go out and you take a video. That, here's my model. Then I'm going to um, do some calculus. Here's my here's my calculus. Then I'm going to reflect. Here's my reflect, and it just flows from one section to the next. Graphs, tables, and diagrams are in the appropriate place. I I don't have to go searching for graph that you are describing. So what I mean by that is if you say in figure two, you can see clearly that there is a good fit between the, the, the line fits the data well. And I'm like, okay, good, but where's figure two? And then I have to f flip two, two pages or scroll down two pages. And I say, oh, yeah, there it is. That's, that's not good, because it's not well presented. It's not in the right place. Um, make sure everything is where it's supposed to be and near where you refer to it. Big tables of data can go in the appendices. The common mistake I see is people put two pages worth of data in their IA. No one wants to look at a load of numbers. So you can just do a little, just do a few rows of the table and then say, please find the rest of the table in the appendices. That's fine. Every page is important. That's what I, um, that's what I said earlier. Uh, to make it concise, yeah, don't have pages that are just boring or that are doing nothing or that you're repeating the same thing, right? Each, every page should be important, otherwise it shouldn't be in the IA. Microsoft Word is better than Google Docs in my opinion, right? Um, that's possibly more important for, for Criterion B, but Microsoft Word, things come out nicer than Google Docs, particularly particularly the equation editor. It looks way better with Word than Google Docs and, and Pages as well. So if you can, please try and use Microsoft Word. Looks professional. So it should look professional and not just um, not just a mess, right? Every Pay attention to small details. So it looks like the margins. Things fit in the margins. That nothing's like coming off the page or anything like that. No repetitive calculations. Don't go in, if you're finding the correlation coefficient of two variables, and then you say, okay, that there's there's no correlation, I'm gonna try another two variables, no correlation, another two variables, and you've got like 20 pages of just finding correlation coefficients. That's repetitive and boring. If you do need, if your IA does require you to do 20 different, um, find 20 different correlation coefficients, you can do it, fine, but put 19 of them in the appendices and just, um, quote the results and say, if you want to see the working, they're in the appendices, because no one wants to read that. And then finally, correct citations. So make sure your citations are correct if you have them, and you probably will. Okay, I want to show you, um, I'll show you two IAs, two IAs that um, have good communication. So, okay, here we have an introduction to start with. It says, the aim of this exploration is to find the probability that I have to qualify for the most important competitive race, which is the Youth Olympic Games. Okay, very clear aim, and it's right at the start. Now, you don't have to put it the very first sentence, but it should be clearly written somewhere. And I always tell my students, you should have this sentence. The aim of this exploration is dot, 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 somewhere in your introduction. And you could even put it in bold if you want to make it very, very clear. So there's your aim. I have chosen this topic because... There's your rationale. Why This is why she's doing it. She wants to get better. Fine. To fulfill my aim, um, I will collect the data, blah, blah, blah. So perfect introduction. Three nice pictures. Um, I, I, I often say include pictures when you can. Like, I, I don't, I think sometimes you can just put in photos for, for the sake of it. But these photos, I think they add to the to the IA, make make it look good. I mean, there's no, she's not gonna lose marks for putting in those photos, I think I think they look good. And it shows that she's actually gone out and collected the data. Then, so watch, watch the how this flows nicely. Data collected, this is like her next kind of subtopic. This is her table in the middle with a title, fine. Then she, sa then she says, by using this data above, I will find the mean, blah, blah, blah. Reflection, next little heading. Then, finding the mean. Finding the standard deviation, equations in the center, reflection again, 
plotting the normal distribution curve. And then it's a, it all just flows. You can see exactly what she's doing, what, why she's doing it. Reflection three, um, finding the probability, etc. I won't go any further, but it's it's really nice. It's really nicely presented, and it's definitely coherent. I can I can easily follow this. It's written really nicely and simply and and well. Um, it's definitely well organized, and well, if you saw the the entire IA, it's concise. It's not. Um, it doesn't get boring and it's not full of calculations that aren't that aren't required. Um, okay, that's one. Next example I want to show you is a this is a particularly good HLIA, but you'll see the same thing. So here, Easter is my favorite time of year, uh, and she, what she's going to do is find the the amount of well look it's written here the aim of this exploration is to find the surface area of the chocolate egg and compare it to the area of the alum aluminium foil wrapper to find out how much of aluminium foil is wasted right so great aim how much because look the wrapper is a rectangle but the surface of, of this what is ultimately an, an ellipse is not a rectangle so she has a rationale an aim and then uh, a plan Perfect. Pictures again. Um, I think I think the pictures look good. They actually help explain what she's going to do. Then she's written it like, look, 1.1 is introduction. 1.2 is mathematics used. So now we're going to do what's the mathematics used? An ellipse explains the ellipse. Equations nicely put here. 1.2.2. Next, she's moving on to the area, area of a surface revolution. Explains it. Um, Figure seven, things look good. Uh, titled, I can follow it. Figure five shows, and figure five is right there. Uh, equations in the center. Picture looks good. Uh, look, I mean, it looks, it's well presented. I cannot find a flaw in it. These, these pictures, so sometimes I say put your pictures in the center, but look, this looks great. It's the text is kind of wrapped around it, just like the. Um, aluminium is wrapped around the Easter egg um, and then modeling the egg okay so both of those great presentation that's the kind of thing we are after okay in the next lesson I will go and talk about mathematical communication